All right, guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial in under two minutes here. So in this tutorial here, I want to take this text object here right here, and I want to disable it somehow here. I'm going to show you guys a few different ways you go about this here. So I might go over two minutes here, so just as a little uh, little disclaimer, okay? So first up here, I have a script here. The script doesn't do anything right now here. It's completely blank here. At the very top here, let's include namespace here. Let's say using Unity Engine. Dot UI here, okay? So the first way here would be to declare a game object and let's just call it text from here, okay? And then we just say uh, text dot set active and we're going to pass in false right from here, okay? Now the issue with this here, and this isn't really an issue here, but depending on how you want this behavior to run here, you may or may not want it to be like this here. But basically what's going to happen if we go back to Unity here, it's going to disable this entire game object from here. So if I had other things living on this object here, if I had some way to store information or maybe something counting in the background here, it's also going to disable that too. Check it out. If I hit play, and it's going to think about it here. And I'm sorry, I actually didn't, I need to attach the script to something in scene here. And then on this text right here, I'm going to drag in this game object, okay? If I hit play, now you'll see that this entire thing is disabled. So like I guess if there's other things going on here, this isn't really the best thing here, okay? It's not, you know, a bad thing necessarily here, but if I have other things going on here, I want to keep those going. Another way to go about it here is that if I go back here, if I change the game object to just a text here, I can do that here, but now I need to modify this line of code here. Instead of saying set active, I'm going to say text, I'm going to set, uh, sorry, text.enabled, I'm going to set that equal to false from here. Okay, save. And if I go back to Unity here, I'm probably going to need to reassign the public object here because I changed the type. I'm going to save it real quick here, Canvas. Yep, I need to redrag text in here. here. And then I can hit play. And now you can see the only thing I'm disabling on here is just this text component of this game option from here. One more little bonus thing that you could do if you really wanted to here, which is basically the same thing here, almost like a bridge between the two things we just did here. We can say game object here, and then we could say, you know, text.get component, and we could pass in um, text right from here, and then we could do dot enable and set that equal to false which is basically the same thing that we kind of did a second ago here, but now we're declaring it as a game object from here, okay? And like I said, this is going to go up two minutes here, but that's okay. If we go back to Canvas here, re-drag in our game object here. So even though this says text here, we're really looking for a game object as per our variable type right there, okay? And if I hit play, same thing that happened a second ago. That gets disabled, but the game object itself stays active. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I know it went a little bit over time here. Um, definitely be sure to check out my Unity, excuse me, Udemy courses where we talk about a lot more about Unity with cloud and saving files to S3 and Amazon and stuff like that. Guys, great job on this video, guys. You guys did fantastic. I'll see you guys in the next one.